we're going to need to do enough hunting for both of us, it would seem. The administrative part of my role is something I am still getting used to. Sadly, it prevents me from spending any time on the reserve with you, or getting to know my neighbors. Cuatro Colinas is mostly composed of my family's estate, but includes several tracts of public land with public roads. Because I'm overseeing the reserve, I need to work with the local government to ensure that the public roads are kept safe. There is a stretch of road in particular that is extremely dangerous. It has a steep cliff on one side, and drivers need to slow right down or risk a perilous drop. Until recently, we had road signs warning approaching drivers of the danger. I mention this to you because these signs have suddenly disappeared, as if by magic, and I need you to replace them. I know that this would normally be a hunter's job, but I have asked the mayor to take care of it, and he told me that I have to wait a month for him to send a crew. I'd have my handyman Julio deal with it, but the poor old soul is laid up in bed with pneumonia. I was able to go into town and retrieve some replacements. Unfortunately, I was in a rush and had to attend a meeting, so I wasn't able to put them up. Okay. I don't know if that was optional, but I done it, and it made me a little money. Now I'm gonna... go to this. Finish out this one. These horns rise upwards before splaying outwards, with the tips pointing up. The Castillo's trophy room features many Betete horns. Almost there. You're in the right spot. I left the sign so you'll be able to find them easily. Once you retrieve the signs, there are poles about 30 meters from the bend in either direction. Attach the signs to the poles. This isn't even the first time this has happened. I've heard I've of heard drunk of people drunk stealing people traffic cones, but this must be something else. Put up these signs and move on. For now, though, we have something else to take care of. My neighbor Manuel is a goat herd who has been raising goats here for 25 years, and one of his goats has gone missing. Apparently, it is his favorite, Paloma. This might seem like a small concern, but he has assisted my family on many occasions. I want to repay his kindness. Manuel has told me of an isolated tree that Paloma uses to hide from the rain. Perhaps that's a good place to start your search, it stands on its own, so it should be easy to find. Okay. Can the tree that Manuel mentioned. Can you see any sign of Paloma? Paloma. the first missing goat. There it is. 
It's dead. The main kill. I will be sure to take a trip to visit Manuel this evening, so I can inform him in person. I will take some flowers. The body. It appears that she was killed and then abandoned. Surprising behavior for a predator. Are there any clues as to what did this? These prints were left by a wolf, but this is strange behavior. The wolves tend not to take prey from this part of the reserve, but maybe one got desperate. We ought to investigate this further, and track down the creature that did this. It's essential that even if we don't catch it, we ensure that it hasn't lingered in the area, putting the other ghosts at risk. It does appear that the tracks are leading away from the pasture, though. With any luck, the wolf won't come back. Dead wolf now. Follow these tracks. Carry the pistol with me. It's easier to jerk out and shoot fast. Disappearing road signs, wolves that kill but don't eat. These are not the sort of events I expected out here. At least, they never used to be. Since taking over responsibility for the reserve from my father while he gets better, I have started to realize just how much effort goes into maintaining Cuatro Colinas. Vista España are quite determined to have a meeting with my father, but he is in no position to negotiate a deal at the moment. I find myself too busy with the small tasks of running the reserve, making it impossible to deal with anything else. I had planned to take him to visit my mother's memorial today. A close family friend, Padre Abbas, has made a wreath and offered to go in our stead. I wonder if he got a chance to visit. He's a busy man too. He spends most of his free time exploring the reserve when he isn't stopping by to visit us at the Castillo. I don't know if he will get an opportunity to visit the memorial today. And I know that I won't get a chance for at least a week. She deserves better. I should be up there now instead of meeting with lawyers and accountants. I know that bureaucracy is necessary to run a game reserve. But it all seems trivial when compared to taking care of my family. Even though she's gone, I still feel a sense of duty. I apologize. You don't need to hear this. I should get back to work. Okay, photograph the memorial. We go over there. Spawn in. Spawn in right here. And go to it. Oh, we're getting there. Picking up zones along the way.
don't come up with a wolf. There's the memorial. There's a photograph. You're at the You're memorial. You did not you have did not to travel up there on my behalf, behalf, but I am very grateful for the picture. <sighs> Padre made the trip after all, it seems. His wreaths are so beautiful, don't you think? He makes them from wild flowers that he finds on his travels. My mother used to make them too. She was such a wonderful person. She always tried to get the most out of every day. She never seemed to rest. It's a shame that you never met her. I think you two would have got on well. She loved walking those trails as much as anyone else I've ever met. <laughs> My father used to joke that she only married him so she could spend her weekends in the woods. I, since we lost her, I've been trying to keep it together here, but I honestly don't know if I'm doing enough. I thought that revitalizing the outpost would help, but we need more. Padre Abbas has been very kind to me, and I know that he trusts me to do what's right. His counsel has been invaluable. I want to thank him for his support. He's putting a book together, and I think we can help him with his work. I have told him how to get in touch with you. I take it as a personal favor if you helped him out. He doesn't ask for anything from me, but I want to pay him back. However, Padre Abbas is far from the only person who could use some assistance. The reserve's resident vet has some concerns following your discovery of the dead goat and the wolf tracks. If a wolf strays out of his usual territory and kills a goat but does not feed, it can be an indicator of rabies. It's a worst-case scenario, but we should consider it just in case. There are other potential reasons for this behavior. <sighs> the thing is, this isn't the first time this has happened. It's not public knowledge, but I feel that now is the time to tell you. My mother's passing was... She was killed in a wolf attack. My father spent days afterwards trying to hunt down the wolf that did it, but ultimately there is no way of knowing. He returned home and hasn't hunted since. I won't let it happen again. We need to establish if this is an isolated case or if there's a wider problem that we must tackle. First things first. We need a sample from a wolf in its home range. If it turns out to have signs of rabies, we know that we have a problem. If not, then we can adjust our strategy and explore any alternative possibilities. You can still harvest it, but we need the brain, so that we can run some tests.
nicely done. Our vet is offering to work out of hours, so I am hoping to have answers soon. I'll let you know if the test indicate rabies. If it turns out to be the case, I hope you've caught it early. Please exercise extra caution, and let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary. I am having the strangest day. I just received a call from Sole Santiago, one of my neighbors. She is an olive farmer who has become a, a de facto representative for most of the people working the land here. She told me that one of our farmers has had his barn broken into, which is strange enough for a barn in the middle of nowhere. What makes it truly bizarre is that this farmer's tractor has had the tires slashed. Apparently, there are footprints that lead from the barn. I know that you weren't planning on chasing any people during your time here, but if you could put your tracking prowess to use, I'd appreciate it. Santiago told me that the farmer who owns the tractor was opening up this morning when he spotted that the lock on the barn was broken. Sometimes neighbors get a little petty and do stupid things, but Armando is such a sweet man. He wakes up early, tends to his crops, and goes home. I can't imagine anybody wanting to do this to him. He seems pretty surprised about it all, too. Close to the sail toss track. The tractor, tractor is definitely, is definitely out, of out of action. On the plus, On the plus side, side, Armando, Armando doesn't, doesn't store anything store valuable, valuable in there. there. The footprint the should be should nearby. Be nearby. Are they all? Be, careful. be careful. We don't know who left these footprints and what they're capable of. Armando is an old man, so it's for the best that he didn't go trying to track them down. Hopefully you won't encounter any trouble. I don't know if we're going to find anything, but I'll admit, I'm curious about what's happened here. Once they get back to the road, but look, there's tire tracks here. The tracks were left by something heavy. Take a picture with the footprints and tire tracks inside it and send it to me. Santiago also happened to mention that she has been chatting with some of the other farmers. It would appear that news of Armando's tractor and Manuel's lost gold have spread, and it's making them nervous. Of course, these two incidents are very different, but it's putting the farmers on edge. Things like this didn't happen when my parents were in charge. I just need to make it clear that we are taking care of things still. One farmer has taken to planting old hunting traps. I don't know if they're hoping to catch a wolf or a vandal, but either way, I want you to remove these traps from my reserve. They are an old design, extremely dangerous, and have a tendency to injure but not cleanly kill the animal that wanders into them. If a person were to somehow be caught in one, I hate to even consider it. 
Santiago told me that the farmer who placed the traps has gone on vacation with his family. He's shaken. He had apparently spotted something running along the back of his fields at dusk, just as he was about to go home. I can understand his anxiety. Nobody is more concerned about the problems we're all facing than I am. But I wish they'd come to me. Santiago has been a real help, keeping me in the loop about what's going on amongst the farmers. But I fear that she is losing confidence as well. She takes my calls, but I rarely see her anymore. I am just glad that we see eye to eye about these dangerous traps. Okay, let's go disarm four old traps. There's two. You've still got all your fingers attached, yes? Last one. Wait, wait. Did you hear that? Hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Sounds like a wolf coming to eat me. the white wolf oh a diamond oh that's a phantasm yeah phantasma whatever it's called oh okay cool yeah I remember that one there's also a black diamond that you get to kill on here too from a nearby village have asked me to be present at their wedding 
As you know, you know things are extremely things are hectic, hectic at the at moment, the moment. But, but I'm considering taking the day off to attend. Arturo makes beautiful furniture and has refurbished some antique pieces for my family over the years. He's even let us use his workshop to make custom frames for our hunting trophies. I'd like to repay them, so you and I are going to acquire a fitting centerpiece for their dinner table. For this centerpiece, I need a wild boar, and I am confident that you got an eye for an impressive specimen. If circumstances were different, I'd be doing the hunting myself. I haven't hunted wild boar since I returned to the reserve. Of course, this is where it helps to have you as my trusted confidant. Since you started working here, I have been able to start gathering momentum. There's still so many problems to take care of, but I feel like I can start handling them now. Dealing with Vista España, convincing the neighbors that we have their best interests at heart. Even the simple things like basic maintenance around the reserve. You were hired as a hunter, but you've also had to solve some unorthodox problems. I appreciate the extra effort you've put in. And you've been a true friend to me during a difficult time. It means a great deal. <laughs>